Hi, welcome back to the uh, video series by Photolink on uh, Paint.net. This is the fourth video in the series. Uh, this video is on three tools, the first three tools, <coughs> called the uh, Magic Wand, uh, the Color Picker, and uh, also the Recolor Tool. First thing that we're, we're what we're going to do is we're going to place the sky in an ordinary or otherwise uh, adult picture. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the church, this picture called church that has a pretty lifeless sky. Then I'm going to come over to here, and if you'll notice, we have a layer, and that's called background. We're going to come over to here to uh, Earthen View, and we're going to copy. And since you can't load a or you know a second layer directly into um, into uh, uh, paint.net what we're going to do is we're going to come up with an edit and we're going to say paste into new layer so what we have is we have a second layer we're going to keep the canvas size since larger and we have a second layer with the clouds in it that we choose to use and we're going to have our background so since the topmost layer is the most visible what we're going to do is we're going to move the clouds to the lower layer position and now we have this up here well the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our color or I mean our uh, color picker tool which is the eyedropper and what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the sky oops got to select the background first remember we got the, the image that is highlighted or the layer that is highlighted is the one that we're using so we're going to select our background with uh, the right um, mouse tool to pick our secondary color and we're going to come in here in our color wheel we're going to pick an impossible color as our primary color oops okay we've got that and we've got to go here to primary and we're going to pick our primary color which we're going to leave as this purple now what we're going to do now since we're through this colors dialog box is we're going to move it out of the way a little bit now we're going to come over to our recolor tool and what we're going to do with a very low tolerance is we're going to paint around this steeple okay so we're going to take this down here since we're not getting everything we're going to increase our tolerance a little bit and we're going whoops too high so we'll do an edit undo and we'll come back to maybe like a nine yes and that's better and then maybe we'll go up to like a 14 and get this area behind the trees maybe even a little bit higher and we'll get this area behind the trees even more this isn't going to be perfect but what we're going to do is we're going to get around these trees and if I notice we're still getting a little bit of the shadow so I'm going to probably go up to like a 28 maybe perhaps yes that's much better and we're going to take out uh, this background and again this won't be perfect but then we're going to move our history button over or our history uh, dialog and our layers dialog and we're going to get this area and now we're going to we could use the flood fill for this but what we're going to do is we're demonstrating these two or these three tools so we're going to use these three tools primarily and we're going to come up and over and paint this section in to total totally get the sky miss a little bit here Now we're going to come up here with a relatively high tolerance. We're going to come over here to our um, to our magic wand tool. We're going to try this initially. Okay. 
a little bit higher tolerance. Edit, undo. I'm going to try it with a little higher tolerance. Okay. And the flood mode here, we want to make sure is in global, which it is. That means all colors that are similar. We're going to hit a delete key. We're going to take out that background. And if you'll notice, what we have removed, we haven't gotten this over here. So edit, undo. We're going to try it one more time. With like let's say a tolerance level of around a 46 I'm gonna hit the delete key and if you'll notice what we have done is we've taken out that dull sky and we put in a new sky by um, in, uh, by exposing the alpha layer of that image so again what we've done is we painted that particular color with a tolerance, the sky with a color, since it was pretty unique or pretty uniform. And then what we did was, is then we used our magic wand to uh, pull that out. But that's how it's done. Now what we'll do is we'll come up to our image, we'll flatten this image, which merges the two layers together. Okay, and it's done. And then we can come up and save it, save our results as whatever we like to. We'll say church example. And that's all there is to it. And I thank you for watching. And um, uh, on our next videos, we're going to discuss even more tricks. So thank you very much. Have a good night. And please visit the site www.fotolinq.com for more tips and tricks. Thank you. Bye.